everyone, and thank you for choosing our session. Uh, today we want to share with you one, one project that we are very proud of because it's positive impact in, in to improve people's life. And this is the employment counseling system for Syrian refugees and Jordanians in, in Jordan. But before starting, a little background about uh, who we are. Uh, first, I'd like to introduce my colleague Olga. Hello, good afternoon. My name is uh, Olga Leon. Uh, I have more than 15 years of experience in uh, web-based projects. Uh, currently, I'm working at Everis. I'm a digital experience manager in the company and working for United Nations projects. And my role in this project uh, was as a project manager. Thank you. And I am Paco Gracia. Um, I have more than 20 years, a lot. <laughs> Uh, of uh, experience in web-related projects, uh, probably about uh, the last 10 in Drupal-related projects. And currently, I am the head of the Drupal Center of Excellence in Everest and, and, and the founder since 10 years ago. And also, I'm the responsible of the digital experience practice in Benelux and Switzerland. Uh, for those of you that uh, doesn't know Everest, it's a Spanish IT company, part of the entity data group, and uh, we are in 18 countries and uh, regarding Drupal we have a strong team of more than uh, 100 people executing projects in more than 10 countries. So talking about the project, uh, as you know, due to the ongoing Syrian civil war, there are currently about uh, more than 1 million uh, Syrians living as refugees in Jordan. Jordan is a small country with about 10 million people, so this is uh, about 10% of the population. So as you can imagine, this is putting a lot of pressure on the infrastructures, public services, and the labor market in the, in the country. Despite of that fact, uh, and with uh, international support, in 2016, Jordan became the first Arab country that facilitates the access of the refugees to their labor market. No? That was achieved through the signing of, uh, of what is called the Jordan Compact, an international uh, program of support uh, to help the, Jor the Jordanian government to cope with, the, with that crisis. Uh, as part of that international support, the United Nations, through the International Labor Organization, that is a specialized agency of the United Nations uh, with a clear goal of advancing the social justice and promoting decent work for all the people in, in, in the world. Uh, the ILO implemented a program of support to that uh, 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 agreement, the Jordan Compact, to address the special needs of work for the national population of, your, of uh, Jordan and, and the Syrian refugees. And as part of this uh, program of support, the ILO set up uh, this project, the uh, Employee Counseling System, where technology plays a pivotal role to improve all the uh, uh, all the relationship between the, the job seekers and, and the, the government. Uh, it's the first system that targets specifically Syrian refugees in the country that is linked with 13 physical employment centers set up by the ILO in, in, the, in the country. Uh, the ECS is an integrated system to support job seekers, workers, workers and, and employers across Jordan, and, and he, he has, uh, it has uh, three different uh, functionalities, career guidance and supporting coordination with the physical centers, access to job vacancies, and also to training and internship opportunities, for Jordanians and Syrian refugees, and also provides job-related services as a possibility to request work permits uh, or report about uh, bad uh, working conditions. Now we are going to put a short video uh, about the project.
الشاشة الوظيفية الإلكتروني إي كاوس ميس سيستم يتكون هذا النظام من ثلاث محاور رئيسية وهي الموقع الإلكتروني ثاني شغلة هي النظام الاتصال المركزي وثالث شغلة وهو تطبيق ذكي على الهواتف المحمولة ILOECS platform uh, was implemented by a multidisciplinary uh, team with knowledge in different technologies. Uh, the project was based in Drupal 8 and also we have a native uh, Android application and uh, also it is integrated with, with a call center based in PBX asterisk. Uh, the team was dist distributed along uh, different countries and we have uh, we, we had people uh, working in, in in four different countries and all, more or less uh, nine people uh, sorry people from nine different nationalities um, the project started in may of uh, 2018 and finished in january of this year The technical approach that we followed in that in that project uh, in this project was uh, well we built a web-based platform based on Drupal 8 uh, with responsive design based on Bootstrap, multilingual support for English and Arabic, and also it is integrated with Apache Solar uh, for uh, searches. Uh, also, we have a um, mobile application which is uh, developed uh, in Android 7. Uh, it is an application that works in offline mode, uh, so that uh, users can create uh, counselors can create users and also and synchronize them uh, and create the user entities uh, whenever they want in the uh, web application in the sorry in the web platform. Also, it is integrated with a telephone service, which is built with um, based on PBX aesthetics. Uh, it accepts incoming and, and outgoing calls and it is integrated with the ECS platform uh, through APIs. And uh, last, uh, we have a, well, a service layer built over APIs based on JSON API module in Drupal 8, uh, so that we have a third-party integration. Working through, through the project, uh, well, the main objective of this platform was to to build a uh, one platform for all and a customized service for every user. So that uh, in that sense, uh, different roles were, uh, were identified during the assessment phase. We have three different roles in the system. We have the job seekers. Uh, we have uh, also uh, the counselors and field officers that are attending these job seekers. And also we have service providers or employers. From the perspective of the job seekers, uh, they have the possibility to uh, get assistance uh, in different ways. Uh, it can, they can visit uh, an e-counseling center by in person, or they can call by phone through the call center, or also they can uh, do it through the internet, uh, 
uh, accessing uh, to the into the web platform directly. Uh, the web platform um, allows them to register themselves, create their profiles, uh, enroll in new job opportunities or training or internship <coughs> opportunities. They can uh, also follow up their candidacies and also, well, they, there is a search engine in which they can um, filter by different parameters and also create their favorite uh, filters. For counselors, uh, well, counselors can assist users in also in different ways. They can do it by phone uh, through the call center. Um, also, they can do it uh, on site, sorry, in person uh, through the different uh, the 13 counseling centers that are across Jordan. And also, there is uh, this offline mobile application that the field officers that are placed on refugee camps can create uh, and register new, new users. Uh, for the first time into the platform. In addition, uh, counselors uh, have the possibility to act on behalf of the users, for example, of the job seekers or, or the job employers. They can create their, their profiles, they can uh, also edit their profiles, or they can apply to a job offer uh, on their name. Uh, also, they can do the follow-up of the, of the status of, of a candidacy and the history of a job seeker to know when they, they have registered for the first time, if they, ha they have visited uh, a counseling center or if they have done it through the, uh, through the platform. Um, they can also download a short list of candidates to provide it uh, to different job employers, for example, that can match with some job opportunities and also can do some searches to look for different job offers uh, um, uh, looking for different keywords or, or parameters that are in, in the platform. The platform also provides a ticketing system. This is a system that users can, in which users can register or, or can request a uh, for complaints uh, that they can have uh, regarding a job offer, for example, or also they can uh, uh, request for information for uh, uh, to manage work permits or, or health and accident insurance, for example. Uh, also, this uh, ticketing system has a workflow so that counselors can manage all these requests. In addition, uh, counselors have a, a, a space with some data analysis so they can um, take better decisions based on this information and improve the platform. And the third role that we have are the employers or the service providers that are uh, creating uh, well all these job offers or training opportunities. Uh, they can create their profiles, also they can edit them and manage the profile public, uh, they can publish job vacancies or training or internship opportunities, uh, can receive the applications of different users when they register or apply to a job offer, and also can, can download the, the list of users or job seekers that are applying to the job offers, can accept or reject uh, a candidacy. Um, also, there is something important in this platform that, well, with the service layer that it has, uh, any service provider or or, uh, or job employer can um, integrate their job offers, for example, only by by calling to the API that is published. And before finishing with this part, we have prepared a, a video so that you can see how each of these roles can interact with the with the platform. So as a job seeker, sorry, but here I can see it. You can register in the platform and create your profile, edit uh, the profile whenever you want. You are going to see how, how you can do it. You can edit the profile. You can find a job. 
using the search engine that is available in the platform. Also, the platform can provide you a percentage of matching with the different job offers uh, in regarding your skills. Also, you can find training or, or internship in the platform. The counselors, they are uh, placed in the, in the counselor centers and they can provide support to the users in person or, or by phone. They can analyze all the data that have the, the platform has so they can improve their, their, their decision uh, uh, in the platform out on behalf of a job seeker or a job employer. Apply to a job offer in the name of a job seeker. They can find jobs, selecting different parameters, and also they can save the filtering. Update a follow-up and follow up a candidacy. And as an employer or employment service, you can create also your company profile. Publish uh, job vacancies, internships, or trainings. Receive the application from the candidates and manage them. You can accept or reject an application. Short list of candidates and selection of one of them if you want. Okay, and for finishing this session, these are some of the key achievements of the platform so far. Uh, as Olga told you, uh, the platform was launched at the beginning of this year, in January 2019. And we actually have 15 registered job seekers, uh, 49 employer companies, and 2,700 job vacancies. And actually, it's, uh, the 68 percent of the people that are working with the employment service center are, are coming through the platform. So, it has supposed a big boost to the whole uh, service because uh, the possibility to interact with these people through a digital way without having to visit the, the centers is very convenient for most of the of the people on on the region. Um, that's all. So. Thank you so much, and now your your questions. Thank you. I, I have a question. Sure. So, did you have local participation? Did you have um, Jordanians or Syrians participating in this project? Sure, yeah. The, in fact, the, the project manager of the ILO is, is a Syrian woman, and she's in charge of all the crises of the Syrian refugees in, in, the, in the region. And we also involve some people from the region from several parts of the project, uh, especially in the workshops to create mm -hmm. all the all the training uh, of the people. And also, for example, the, the solution is, is hosted in, in Jordan. The maintenance is being kept by, mm -hmm. by Jordan companies. So uh, there is a lot of uh, involvement of, of people from, from that part. Another question: How do you handle the, the? You have Arabic and Latin names. I mean, you show, showed everything in, in Latin. Yeah. But I presume they work in Arabic. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Does it automatically translate that? Is there something that does that? Or they just have to enter their? No, name? they they are entering the information in. in, in fact, the, the main language of the platform right now is in Arabic. Mm -hmm. Of course, we are using it in English because is it the same it's more Jordanian convenient. and Syrian? Is it the same yeah, from what we know, yes, they is the same, but we are not experts at all. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was curious, I saw that in your mobile app you had an offline user creation feature. Yeah. Um, but since this is an online platform, how do you? Yeah, we we create one of the. Uh, requirements of the project is that the counselors are, are coming to the refugees camps mm -hmm. with uh, some kind of tablet that they create for for that purpose. Right. 
So of course they, they are not internet there, so we created an Android application that keeps uh, all the data on the device, mm -hmm. on a database, a local database. And then when they came to the office, they can launch a sync uh, procedure yes. with Drupal and we put the information into the platform using, using the API uh, from Drupal. Right, but after that you need to refresh, you need to go back to person that, that, that the user has, is never online then, right? So if somebody... Yeah, well, you, you have to take into account that, uh, that there are a lot of refugees that, that don't have uh, internet at all. No, no, no but that's exactly it. So, I'm curious so, how you handle it. Yeah, but mm -hmm. they, they, are, they are visiting the centers and mm -hmm. all the information of the uh, uh, and the coordination of the actions that the, uh, mm -hmm. the counselors performed with, a, with a, a specific person are in the platform. So they are managing people even also the, the people itself doesn't have access to the, to the platform. Yeah. And just, sorry, just, just a, a comment. Uh, well, as, as, you, as you saw, well, there is, there is a functionality which is that the counselors can act on behalf of the users. Yeah. That's, that's the functionality that is in, has, put, has been put in place just for these cases, for the cases in which users don't have uh, access to, to the platform or they don't have internet, mm -hmm. so, so they can uh, call to the call center or, or phone to the call center or visit a counseling center right. and, and counselors can act in, on behalf of them and apply to different job offers or edit their profile or whatever they, they need. Right. In fact, when you call the, the platform, you have to be regist registered because uh, when yeah. you call you, the, you, yeah, you need a number, yeah. <laughs> and once you you put your number, then all the actions and all the calls are recorded, or all all the things are in the platform. Yes. Okay. No. <laughs> oh, sorry. Maybe outside. Okay. Thank you so much. And um, if you have any further questions, we, we are outside. Okay. Yeah.